What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a kit shop. Now what I mean by this is obviously if you have a realm or something and you have a shop where players can buy and sell items, you're going to want players to be able to buy kits. Now maybe some kits will just be plain diamond armor, no enchants, but most of the time you're going to want the kits to have enchants and I'm going to be showing you how to make a shop to do that in today's video. So. The first thing you're going to want to do is have a scoreboard called shops. So I already have it, but you're going to want to type this command um, just like that. So scoreboard objectives add shop and make sure to put dummy after. And then this will just create you a shop scoreboard. So what is going to happen now is you should already have your shop built. If you don't, um, you may want to build one first, but I'm going to be just showing it here. So, um, I'm going to display sign, I guess, to show uh, what I'm going to be doing. So, let's say I wanted this to be, I don't know, uh, looting sword. So, looting three sword, and then I'll just put it at $100. And then uh, I'll make a kit. So, just kit, and then I'll make it $100. You can do whatever you want. I'll show you how to change these um, in the commands. But this is just to show you that they work right next to each other. You can have as many as you want next to each other, and it will work fine. So, you're going to want to come to the back and place your command block. So, in your command block, you're going to want to have scoreboard players set at P, not at A. Uh, and why did it go to reset? I typed set. Okay, set so at P, shop, and then one. Now, the thing is, this is going to be your first shot. And I'm showing you it with two items to make sure that you don't run into a mistake that a lot of people do. So, this is going to be your second shop. So, that one is going to be a two here. So, once you have this command done, you're going to want to actually go find a location where you want your commands. So, if you're doing your commands far away, perfect. Um, if you're doing them near the shop, perfect as well. But, all that's going to be here is two commands um, at the end of each button looking something like that, and everything else will be done elsewhere. So I'm going to just do mine here, uh, close to it, but it'll still be disconnected from it. Um, and what you want to do is place two blocks, uh, uh, however many you're having shops. So if you had five shops, you would want to do that, and set it up for five, but I'm only showing two, so I'm going to be doing it like this. And once I have my location figured out, I'm actually going to get the coordinates under my first shop. So I'm going to just run a command like this, and we're going to be setting a redstone block there, so I'm going to just type it out now, uh, copy that, and then I will be putting that in my command block. So this is going to be for my first shop. So after my uh, command where it sets my score to 1, I'm going to have another chain command. So it's just going to be chain, unconditional, always active, to set a redstone block below that command block. So just like this. And then, obviously, for your second one, you're going to want to do the same thing. So I'm just going to type the command again, and then I'm going to copy it and paste it. So, just like that, and then I can take a chain command block, place it back here, and then paste my command in. So, now, whenever I would click this button, it would set a redstone block there, or there, depending on which button I click. I'll show you that a little bit later in the video. So, now we are going to want to focus on our shops, and let's start with shop number one. So. Uh, it'll start off uh, pretty similar to other shops, but uh, you will see what makes it special. So first off, uh, as any shop would do, you're going to want to make sure the player has enough money. So we're going to do that by just simply scoreboard players test at P. And now this is where it kind of gets interesting. You're going to want to put scores equals shop equals and then whatever shop number this is. Now for me, this is 1, so I'm going to put 1. And then your currency scoreboard the amount of money you want it to cost, and then an uh, asterisk saying to just go to infinity, basically. Now, if I were actually to copy this command over here, which I will do uh, rather than typing it for time's sake, this is my second shop, and so I'm going to change that to 2. Uh, I'm having the items cost the same, but if you wanted to change the amount, you would just change this number. And yeah, after that, we are going to want to start to remove our uh, the player's money. So. The command is actually pretty similar to that one down there, so I'm going to just copy that and edit this command block. So, your, com your command block should be chain, conditional, and then always active. So, when we're in here, we are going to delete the asterisk at the end, 
and then delete test and make it remove just like that so there we go that should work now and then i'm going to do the same for my second shot because rather than doing it separately i'm going to just do it all at once at one time so like that now we are going to take um a chain command block put it here make it chain conditional always active and then we're going to leave it there for now and we're actually going to put um two of them there so what we're going to do with this is um if you want here's where you would add extra things to it so maybe you want to say the player doesn't have enough money when they uh don't have enough or if they bought it then it will say like oh poach is successful but that's up to you um i'm just going to be showing you this design for uh time's sake but okay after you have your two blank uh, command blocks we'll come back to that you're going to want to place a chain command block on top of here and this will just be set block uh tilde and then whatever the coordinate the y coordinate is for your redstone block so mine is going to be on y4 yours may differ but make sure to set that for you and then i'm going to put my y coordinate and then another tilde and then a. so this will get rid of the redstone block then after that i am going to put a command block here which will be tp at e type equals item and then i'm going to put a radius of five and then I'm going to do name equals not chest. So what this is going to do is it'll, our commands are going to uh, clone a chest and then break it. And the stuff inside the chest will fall out. So we're going to teleport those to the player. So this is going to make it so the player won't pick up the chest, but they'll pick up the items. So once we have this, we are going to just do at P and then scores equals shop equals whatever. So I'm going to do one here um and yeah so after you have done that command you're going to want to place one more chain on top which would just be scoreboard players reset at a and then scores equals shop equals one or again whatever shop number then you want to make sure you put shop after so it doesn't reset all the scores so right now you should have something that looks a little bit like this or maybe exactly like this um but uh once we are done there like i said if you want to you could have added um extra commands on, on top of here to do whatever you want but after that you're going to want to grab chest so what i'm going to do is to the top i'm going to place two chests like this and then just break the bottom one so i have a gap here and then from this bottom command block here this first empty chain I'm going to count up so one two three four five and then six so this is my sixth block so in here, I'm going to type clone tilde tilde six tilde 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 six tilde again, and then one below. So tilde tilde five tilde, just like that. Your height may differ if you added stuff, but this should be what you want. And now after that, we're going to come up from this command block here, and then this will be one, two, three, four. So this gap is now the fourth block, um, and this will be set block tilde tilde four tilde destroy so i can spell up oh, and then we need to put a so we actually need to type it like that set block the block and then a zero destroy so again that's uh the a gap and what this will do is now actually i'll put an item in here just uh to demonstrate so this should be my uh first one if i'm correct yep now if i click it as you can see i picked up a command block but we don't want to sell command blocks we want to sell kits or items that would act like it so like enchanted stuff so i'm going to take a sword and then i'm going to enchant it with looting three like the sign says so i'm just going to do a command to enchant it quickly uh just like that there we go looting three i'm going to put this in here now uh i'll take this out and as you can see on the side it shows my money four thousand seven hundred dollars I click this takes my money and then gives me my sword now i will do the second one now because it is pretty similar so these commands here the cloning and the set block these are actually going to be the exact same so if you're doing a lot of these keep in mind these commands are not going to change throughout so i just placed another one of the clone and then the set block on top um and then from there you're going to want to grab these three commands here uh, and then you are going to want to place them um, just like how you place the first ones. And now, again, 
Uh, this one should not matter. Wait, why did it, why is it like that? It should be, huh, okay, um, ignore that, I was having a brain fire, um, this here, yeah, okay, never mind, sorry about that, I was having a brain fire, okay, so, we're going to ignore this command, it's going to stay the same throughout, and then up here, this command here, all we're going to do is change the shop number to a new shop, so, for me, this is now number two, and then same thing here. So if I change that one to a two, uh, I can now take a chest, place it here, and then put whatever I want in here. So I'm gonna just put a set of uh, let's go with gold armor. So I'm gonna take that like that, place it all in here, and then now when I come down here to my buttons, I can click this. It'll take a hundred dollars, and then I pick up my kit. So you can put whatever items in there you want. Um, like I said, you can add extra stuff to the commands if you want it to be super fancy. So if you want to do that, um, go back to the part where I explained that. Um, but yeah, so I know this video was probably a bit longer. I didn't want it to be this long, but you know, it just turned out like that. And sometimes that happens. But that's going to do it for today. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any ideas that you want to see me uh, try for a video, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. So yeah, that's it for me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.